it's me, Renee, I'm back. So, in exactly one week, it's November. Yeah. Where has the world, has the world, has the year gone? But yeah, in one week, November's here. And that is, in other words, non-fiction November time. So, you probably see it's already title, but like, in case you didn't know, non-fiction November is this initiative to try to read as much non-fiction as you can in November. And then, so, kind of fits that, really. And yeah, I did it last year as well. Last year, though, I did only read non-fiction in November. This year, I'm thinking I'm actually going to do, like, I'm going to do lots of non-fiction, but I probably will read some other stuff as well. Because I have some, uh, because I have some words. I have two body reads planned. Well, I have two books planned, two body reads, not with different people. Uh, so there's that, and those aren't non-fiction. And then also I might pick up some actually Christmas books. I have some Christmas books I haven't read, though that's like some arcs. I kind of think like I might start in November reading those because yeah, why not? But other than that, yeah, I kind of want to read some non-fiction. I kind of want to read yeah, lots of those. So this is my TBR for non-fiction November. Uh, and yeah, so it's, I suppose, slightly, slightly ambitious, though, like, it's non-fiction November, so it's, it's a, like a read fun or like, it's a reading initiative, read fun well, I suppose it's a read fun in the way that it's, you're supposed to, you're supposed to read, like, one, one theme, and there are some prompts, but of course, you don't really have to do them, and there's also, like, an idea of, there's also the idea of, yeah, it's during the whole month, so it's long, and I love readathons that are often one week, two weeks. This is a whole month. So, yeah. um Yeah, you know what? I can't forget, but I'm just going to say. So, there's some um, prompts this uh, uh, time. I think it was actually the first time it was actually done. It was actually, yeah, last year, I think. Yeah. Uh, but, yeah, there's some prompts. I'll just tell you what, about what they are. Uh, and they work actually for my TBR, not like very on purpose, they just kind of did, and yeah. So the prompts are bus, discovery, and time. I think there was a fourth one. I can't for life me remember. Probably should check it out. Nah. Um, I'm just going to link it down below and tell you what it is, and then you wait and see. Well, I mean, you'll you'll see it in the order. But I won't mention it here because I'm a bit lazy. Um, yeah. So it's yeah, it's kind of like the idea is to kind of to get BookTube to read and focus more on non-fiction. Often fiction is the most fic uh, focus on on BookTube, and yeah. Uh, and it's hosted by some people. I'll host it down down below in Dublin. It's hosted by one of the Booktubers from History Challenge, and again, I can't find if I remember her channel name. Sorry, I can picture in my mind, but the book Olive, the book. I'll link it in Dublin. Okay, uh, it's been a long week, and um, yeah, I mean, I don't expect every video I see to be perfect, so you shouldn't expect me to be perfect. But yeah, uh, a bit of a long intro there, but yeah, so my TBR. First, I have James Baldwin, The Last Interview, and Other con Conversations. I, I know about James Baldwin, obviously, well, this was kind of obviously, because I own a book of him. But I actually haven't read anything by him. I think I maybe heard of him this year, last year. I think I like heard of him like some years ago, I imagine. Well, yeah, I suppose I've been kind of more aware of him this year. It's been more a bit more talked about this year because of Black Lives Matter and yeah. And yeah, I kind of wanted to read something by him. I found this uh, from my bookstore and for for why not start here? Though yeah, it's an interview by him with him. It's not one of his it's not one of his fictional words, fictional works or one of his poems. So then again, it's bit weird place to start and also it's his last interview so maybe not best place to start but 
I don't know, still count to read it. It's short and yeah, it's not, yeah, it's actually 80 pages, so it's not that long. So yeah, excited to get it. And then we have The Source of Self Regard by Tony Morrison. Uh, this was actually on the Fuckathon, uh, Fuckathon uh, group read for July. I didn't get it in July because life. I got it in August. I started it and then I, I started very slightly. I just got, got read a bit in it. See it slightly have like a bit of a bookmarker. It's very, very little uh, into it. I did like it, but like I suppose it's a mix of speeches and uh, short stories and different stuff. So, uh, yeah, essays, speeches, and meditations. I think I actually skipped one of them because one of them was meh to me. I suppose you can't really, I suppose at least you, it's unlikely it's like all in like a collection of stuff. But I do want to read more and like at least skim some and then, yeah, at least get through the whole book. And yeah, non fiction November might be the time to do that. I kind of wanted to pick it up before, but hasn't happened, and yeah. We have that one. And then we have Alle Nonnen Dör by Georg Kjöll. As you might imagine, it's Norwegian. It's not only Norwegian, it's a Norwegian book, it's not translated. And it's a book about language. It's a book about sayings and how people like a saying starts as one thing and then people say they misinterpret it and then suddenly it becomes something else. And yeah, I really like language uh, language and sayings. So this one book sounds very fun. It's not like huge, it's a bit under actually 300 pages. So it's a fun size, fun size. It's not huge, so I suppose it's gonna be fun to get to do it this one, I think. And uh, yeah. We have Ex Nachtum de Heletia uh, by Kamara Lundstad Juf. And Ikke var red, Ikke var red som som meg by Sumaya Yirde Ali. So these two kind of talk about the same mouth in like same like in the same uh, in the same go because uh, they're both short and they're both like well, like they're both uh, really. really they're both about black experiences in Norway, or I suppose in a way, black lives matter, but like how they matter in Norway. Because of course, black lives matter, it's not something that only exists in the US or the UK. Black people have gone everywhere and racism has something that happens everywhere, sadly. And yeah, after this year, I kind of like want to be more educated on myself. So I read some black lives matter books based on around the US and I found these books and felt like interesting to read how how it is in Norway. And yeah, both of these are kind of like biographies, they're well short biographies, but like they're um, non fiction books, non fiction stories about personal stories about being not ethnic eth ethnically Norwegian living in Norway, discrimination and all that stuff. And um, it's gonna be nice to get to it. And this one is the author who actually lives where I grew up, so that's quite fun. So, yeah. And then we have Vienna 1814. You might have seen this in an earlier video of mine. I had it on my History Challenge TBR. Didn't get to it. Why it's here. Uh, but yeah, uh, it's a uh, non fiction, obviously. Uh, centered around Vienna and 1814. It's the year that the Napoleonic Wars ended and it's also an important year for Europe as a whole but also actually as for Norway. It was when Norway, like well, I, would have, I suppose I'm Norwegian so yeah, for Norway uh, because it's the year in which Norway actually got its constitution and yeah so this is a very important year for Norway and Europe and I'm intrigued to get it. I got it used, as you may might say, might say, might see. But yeah, I'm intrigued to get it. So hopefully I will. Though yeah, it's it's a big TBR. Who knows? I'll get to all this, but it's a
it's a good selection of stuff. Anyway, I want to get through. So yeah, uh, then we have the Myth of the Explorer by Bo Riffenborough. It's a non-fiction book. Why do I say this? It's an account of different explorers. So it's both like Nansen, you know, the Poles. He was R Ruol, uh, no sorry, Ruol, um, Nansen. What is his first name again? He he had a first name, but yeah, Nansen. He was the like a uh, explorer, Livingstone, Stanley, Peary, all those people. So it's from between 1855 to 1910. So it's not like all of exploration because I suppose that would be a long. You can't have this sort of look uh, about like exploring, just like being all of time because then you had had a lot. But yeah, it's a specific time period. I said. 1855, 1855 till 1910, and yeah, I'm very excited to get it. It's, it's not long, so it should be accessible and readable. And I think actually a lot of it is like uh, footnotes, so yeah. Okay. And now we have a little history of archaeology by Brian Fagan. It's actually published by Yale University Press. So, you know, that's something that has to mean this is quality, really. Uh, and yeah, uh, I'm really into history, kind of, as you suppose can guess from my TBR and stuff. And so, like, this is kind of like an overview of like ar archaeology, which is kind of like history, archaeology, it's kind of two coins on two sides of the same coin. And uh, yeah, excited to get this one. Say so it all the time, like, I don't know. I'm just kind of want to enhance that. Seems cool. And then we have another book by one of the other authors I talked about before, Sumaya Yerida Ali. This is actually a book of poems, but it's like, I suppose you might say like poems. How can that be non-fiction? Well, it's poems based on your life, and like poems are they fiction, non-fiction? I would say it's non-fiction because it's based on her life. It's like poems about her life. Melanin writer than uh, Bleach, it's what it's called. So it's about, again, race. And uh, yeah, it's not a big book. And yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna put it in there. Well, yeah, poems, is it just count or not? I'm gonna count it. And then we have Kvinderomakt, or Woman and Power, a Mary Bead. So it's a short book by the British historian Mary Bead. And it talks about females and power, and how, like, I think it's both like, in a moment. Yeah, it's like women, like, in power, women getting power, all that stuff. And it's like, basically, it's just kind of like 80 pages. And at like uh, page 100, and sorry, it's like 112. And then after that, it's kind of like footnotes and stuff. So it's not a huge book. But yeah, I want to get it, I suppose. Okay. With like how varied my TBR is, like some of the books are longer, some are thinner, and that way I probably might get to a lot of them, might get to some of them, but like, yeah, I mean, it's good to have some thinner books on your TBR, some bigger. Because sometimes reading just huge books could be a bit of a hassle, well, a bit of a task in a way. So yeah. But yeah, that's kind of like a physical TBR. But I also, uh, I have uh, I have plans to do some audiobooks as well. I have lots of books on my audiobook, audiobook app. I have Yale Needs Women, which is like a book exploring the first females who went to study at Yale. So that sounds very interesting. And then I have a non No Cunning Plan by, it's an autobiography by Tim, Tom. It's by that uh, actor who was in Black Adder, who played Baldrick. I'll, I'll link them all in Jubilee. And uh, then I might also do an audiobook of Passionate Readers, which is like a uh, non-fiction on how to get people to love to read. Me as a reader, and also as a librarian, as a bookstore, bookstore worker. This is perfect to read for me. And then, I don't know, like maybe I'll... 
pick up Great Second Act, a book about people all their life who do big, achieve big stuff. And I was like, the audiobook TBR is more like Lucy, Lefty, not really sure, but probably will do some sort of audiobook. I, yeah, I'm kind of addicted to them, and I've got lots and lots of audiobooks, non fiction ones, and fiction ones on my audiobook app recently. Well, recently and during this year. So I have lots to choose from. So, yeah, that's my TBR for non fiction November. And uh, yeah, I probably have, might have, probably will do a TBR also like for the fiction books that I'll read. Also plan to do the to do the Gilmore Girls read fun again. With that one, I might uh, I might probably like do like double up and do some of the books from this in that. Although I uh, might not. Who knows? And yeah, if you have any thoughts about any of these books, if you have any thoughts about non-fiction remember, or just want to say hi, do that in the comments. And I'll see you later. Bye bye.